Hello, um, I'm Becca, designer and illustrator, and I'm going to show you how to separate colours uh, for screen printing, quick and easy, using the magic wand tool. Okay, so firstly, I've drawn this graphic um, using a, a fine liner pen, um, 0.1, and then I've scanned it in. I've also I put it into Photoshop um, and cleaned up all the lines. So what I want to do is I'm going to use this for a t-shirt graphic. Um, I've recently uh, designed quite a few t-shirt graphics for a winter collection um, using this method and it's really quick and easy um, and great for sending um, over to factories for large um, for print production but for large quantities as well. Um, it's also a great tool to have for yourself if you're screen printing at home. So this is my quick illustration for this demonstration. And um, I've made sure there are no gaps in between the lines. So that way it's easy for us to fill once we've live traced it. So I've scanned it in, I've put it into a, um, Photoshop first um, just to sort of bump up the contrast so the lines are really clear. So you've just got sort of black and white. And then I've resaved that as a JPEG and I've opened it up in Illustrator. So this is what we've got. I'm now going to live trace this illustration here. Go to image trace. I'm working on um, Illustrator CS6, but you can do this with um, lower versions as well. So I'm going to have it as a black and white, and I'm going to just bump up the paths and trace. Okay, I now want to expand and then ungroup. So I'm left with all these shapes that I can fill with color. If I go to, mm, right, I haven't got any swatches in there at the moment. So if I pick some colors, say pink let's change the to my K green uh, ones okay right if I, I'm going to pick um, three colours and then including my black makes four colours. So that's um, that's quite a lot if you're going to cost, quite costly if you're going to pay, you know, if send these off to a factory to get printed. If you're going to do it yourself and you can invest the time, that's fine. You can do as many colours as you like, um, but usually four, five is sort of, them, is sort of quite a lot. I'm going to work with three colours and a black, so that's four colours. Um, but you know you can you can also do this as one two and if you're using uh, bitmaps you can do shading and uh, you know different opacities of that color you know there's lots of options but just for this demonstration I'm going to be using four colors so I drag those into my swatches and I just want to start sort of coloring in playing around with the shapes and then this is going to take me ages if I show you this, so I have prepared one earlier. Here we go. And copy that. Let's bring it back. Okay. So, I've just coloured this up um, using my four colours. Right, what we need to do now, now that I'm happy with that graphic, I need to separate those colours um, into films or layers ready to uh, send to the factory. So what I will do first of all is create some crosshairs. Um, and you want to place these Oh, 
on each uh, corner of your of your page but not within the artwork so make sure it's on the outside this is just going to be guides so that all your colors line up when they're separate films okay and then when I've got these crosshairs I'm just going to block the selection so they're going to stay fixed in that place um, whilst we separate those colours. It's really important that you lock them and they don't they don't move around because otherwise it could mess up with the aligning of the of the films. Right, what I'm going to do now is um, select my first colour for print and I usually, um, you know, it's totally up to you, but I usually work from the lighter colour being printed first up to the darker colour. So I usually have my outline which is black that we've got here um, as the very last colour that gets printed onto the t-shirt. I'm going to start with the pink. So what I do is I take my um, magic wand tool which is here and I just select the pink and what that does is it quickly selects everything um, that is that colour and I'm going to lock that selection so it's not going to move and now I want to delete everything else that's around it so we're just left with the pink and I'll unlock unlock okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna relock these crosshairs because I don't want them to go anywhere right and now I want to turn that pink to black okay because all your films have to be black um, you know, if you've done screen printing before, you'll know. Um, so, that's my first film, my first layer. So I'll name that. You want to save it. Mm, right, this is just... Um, right, I'm not going to actually save it, but I'll show you. You want to name whatever, you, whatever you've called your graphics. So say this is a pattern. And then you'll, I would put a film or layer one, you know, it's up to you. And then the color, because just to save any confusion, um, it's really good to put the color as well. So pink, okay? And then I'd make that into a PDF, press save, and then you want to have that as a high quality print um, PDF, okay? Right. And then once you've saved that, I want you to Apple Z, that process, until you get back to your main illustration. Um, and then take the wand tool and do the next colour. And so I probably do the light green. And as you can see, it's exactly the same. Box selection. Delete everything else. You know, and the more you do it, you just sort of oh, get the hang of it. And then, okay, and then take that to black. And then file, save as. Um, and then you just carry on doing that whole process that I just showed you. And you save, save your layers. So you've got layer one or film one, film two, film three, film four with the colors. Well, there shouldn't be any confusion and if it helps you can also write where your crosshairs here are up here you can you can write you know um, film one pink okay like if for the pink layer um, just to help the factories but it's not necessary um, and that's it, simple as that. And then you've got all your films ready um, and they're all separated. And once you layer them on top, they'll be in exactly the same place as your original graphic. And I've just sort of um, mocked up these. Just so you know, you can see how the graphic sits on your t-shirt and what size you want it to be. And how it should look when it comes back from the factories or once you've printed it yourself. Um, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching um, uh, and good luck with it.